What is up, YouTube? It's Kuda Malo here coming at you with another exciting video. And in this one, <laughs> I'm going to show you the Trangia alcohol spirit burner or spirit burner stove. Anyways, what I've got here is a firebox set up with a 40 ounce clean canteen. Just wanted to show you what it looks like when it's all put together. Uh, but basically, if I take off my 40 ounce clean canteen bottle, take out the top ring, let's see if I can do this with one hand. And then take out the two top fire sticks. There's my little alcohol stove in there. And this is the Trangia. All right, so uh, let's talk about this thing for a second. It's great. I've used it a few times. I've used it with a uh, Luxata pot, uh, which I just did a review on this uh, a while back. Uh, this configuration is a little bit different. I, I might do another video and show you that separately. Uh, but I've used it with this thing. It's great. I love it. Uh, spirit burner is basically good with any kind of like alcohol or spirit type fuels, denatured alcohol, methyl hydrate. You get the idea. Uh, but this thing came to me in this packaging, which is like a little plastic bag that they want you to store it in, I guess, to prevent rust damage, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but anyways, let's measure it real quick. I just wanted to show you guys what it weighs when it's empty. So if we turn on my handy dandy scale, I'll set this to grams. There we go. And that's just, just the burner on its own. As you can see, it's 66 grams. If you wanted to know what the ounces were, it's 2.33 ounces. And then if you add the, uh, the top ring, this is basically your, um, your simmer ring. Uh, if you add this to the mix, let's see what this comes out to. So now you're up to 3.17 ounces. Or in grams, it would be 90 grams. Uh, so that's without any fuel in there at all. Uh, just from my experience. Oh, and if you wanted to know what the cap weighs too, if you, you know, if you're curious and putting the cap on, that's with the cap and the thing just like that. That's 87 grams, and then that's 3.07 ounces. And then if you added the simmering to that, you're now at 3.92 or 111 grams, the whole shebang without any fuel in there. Uh, I love this thing. It's great. It works. It does what it's supposed to do. Uh, I haven't had a chance to futz around with the, with the simmer ring, mostly because the times that I used it to boil water with the firebox, I just put in one ounce of uh, methyl hydrate, which is basically like a uh, you know, the, the cheapest stuff I could possibly find. Uh, another time I used 90% isopropyl alcohol, and that's what made all the smoke around here. So I'm shying away from using like rubbing alcohol uh, for the sole reason that this is what you end up getting all this like, you know, blackened uh, soot on the thing. So I think the way to go is denatured alcohol or methyl hydrate, I think is probably cleanest burning won't give you that that soot or at least not as bad all right so in terms of the components this thing right here kind of threw me off because it's metal right the lid itself is metal i thought this thing was some kind of plastic or something i don't know what the hell the thing was uh but it's some kind of like stamped steel and that's solid metal but the but the ring itself is like i think it's brass or bronze something similar uh, what's kind of cool is it does give you instructions on the lid it tells you like how to use it where do you, it says warning use alcohol only yada yada you know intention follow the instructions i'll just hang on this for a second if you guys want to freeze that frame and then go ahead and read on your own uh, but you get the idea anyways i love this thing i'm gonna keep using it, it it's a great date idea you know if you if you take your girlfriend out uh, if you're a girl and you want to take your boyfriend out or whatever your significant other's gender, race, whatever it is, you know, it's a cool little date idea. Bring, bring your alcohol stove, boil some water, make some tea, make some hot chocolate. You know, it's kind of cool. But in a survival situation, if I had to go camping with this thing, uh, you know, I know that it's pretty lightweight. As you can see, it was 100, what was it, 111 grams total with everything and everything, the whole shebang. Um, but it's cool. It works. To boil... Uh, one liter of water, like a full liter of water took me, I think it was around two ounces. So two ounces of fuel went into here. Uh, and then to boil the Lexada, 
which is 500 milliliters, right? This thing is, I filled it up to that line, sorry, that line, which was the, the 500 milliliter line of just, just regular room temperature, like 70 degree water, took me just shy of one ounce of fuel. And at that time I was using the rubbing alcohol. So just shy of one ounce of fuel. And that took about eight minutes, like eight or nine, eight, between eight and nine minutes, eight and a half minutes, somewhere around there. Uh, so just give you an idea of how, you know, how the this, this system works, the efficiency, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, there is a link to this down in the description below. There's also a link down below to my new Facebook page. Go ahead and visit that. Subscribe if you like what you're seeing. There's a subscribe button here for the YouTube video. There's a like button here for the YouTube video. Go ahead and smash those if you like what you're seeing. I'm Kudra Malloy, and I will catch you guys on the next one.